Hi, Internet. How are you? We're back. Outrage Factory's back. I'm calling this episode Outrage Factory Revival because this is just as important as the band Credence Clearwater and anything John Fogarty ever did. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Sorry, the memory of my dad who liked <laughs> Credence Clearwater. I can't even say he didn't like this podcast because he died before I ever started recording it. So I guess I have an out. He would have loved it. Yeah. He so uh, would have listened. Oh yeah. Sorry to break you up. Break. Bre- uh, how how would it be Outrage Factory revival without me cutting you off? But Matt McLaren's here. No longer Cheesemonger McLaren. Now he's what's what's a mean nickname for electricians? Electricians. It's not really a mean nickname, but it's Sparkies. They call oh, yeah. them Sparkies. You got a Sparky yeah. with us. <laughs> 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 um yeah matt mclaren he so let's let's just talk about your life and not what fucking just happened today we'll talk yeah. we'll get into it we'll, we'll talk about how trump is the most gangster fucking president that ever lived because he got shot in the face and he was just like the fuck <laughs> that was his whole reaction he was just like the fuck he didn't like if i got shot in the face i'd still be screaming 10 hours later I'd be screaming like a little girl. <laughs> so, uh, what happened to your cheesemonger dreams? Everybody needs an update. Well, we uh, we had a cheese shop, and mm-hmm. we decided that holy shit, this is like too cheesy, like really hard <laughs> to keep going on. And then we were just really busy, and then I started doing uh, uh, electrical, and then um, I was doing real estate as well. So I was doing like electrical, real estate, and cheesemongering. Fucking look at this guy, and, uh, modern day re- Renaissance man. I was, I'm a yeah. Save some careers all. for the rest of us, buddy. <laughs> Monterey <laughs> Jack of all trades. <laughs> You're my pun guy. I love it. Yeah, Let's just. I'm, I'm there. <laughs> fucking cram this show just so full of puns that everybody turns it off that's as my many goal puns as possible yeah so yeah hit us hit me in the comments how many puns before you turn the show off okay yeah <laughs> that'll be I, a running I, running tally that may be the last pun there's too much <laughs> pressure now <laughs> yeah i was just like i was just like think of a pun yeah I was trying. I was trying. As soon as you try, it just it, it can't happen. Yeah. Um, Pun, puns just have to come to you. They have to be delivered by the universe. That's right. They have to just be just there somehow. Oh, here's know. a good one. I wore my muscle shirt so I could have my guns out so we could talk about the assassination attempt. There you go. That was that felt forced. I'm sorry, AK-47s, guys. AK-47s. <laughs> but they call them. I think it was like an AK-47. AK-33 and a half. So... <laughs> What's this mug? This is my Outrage Factory mug that I drew. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, shit. Hold it, on. It's game backgrounded. There you go. There we go. Those are available in the pod shop, the Red Bubble store. Picture I drew. It says Very hang nice. lose. It's so funny because hang lose, I guess that's a pun, made me laugh so hard. And then everybody who sees it, they're like, you spelled loose wrong. And I'm like, you don't get the joke. Hang lose. Yeah. Hang lose outrage factory. That's right. And people who spell lose loose. Yeah. It's they're pretty much interchangeable. Yeah. But yeah, that's another pun. There you go. Hang lose. One of the mottos of the show is a pun. Does that count as a pun that's or is Biden's, that wordplay? I think that's Biden's new <laughs> election <laughs> slogan. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't gonna win. Oh, dude, he's he losing win. for sure now. Well, he was already oh, losing. Sure. Oh, he yeah, was he already was... losing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he's uh, he's lost. Oh, yeah. He's lost. And, unless he gets shot in the face. There's no way this guy's winning. Dude, if fucking Biden got shot in the... So what happened was Trump was in buttfuck Pennsylvania. I can't even remember. What was it called? Bartville or something? I have no idea. I just knew it was Bartville? Pennsylvania. 
here, let me let me just Google it so I can get you a fact and kill some time. All right. Trump assassination attempt. Oh, and also everybody's saying that this was um fake and uh all that stuff. I just gotta say, I think it's so much harder to hit someone in the graze their cheek and go through the top of their ear than just fucking hit them in center face. Like Oh, like this they weren't a... trying to kill Trump. They were just kind of using him as a martyr. And then. Yeah. Like people were saying that this was like the Republicans. They're just making it like a false flag event where they're just trying to like make it look like they tried to assassinate Trump and never meaning to. But I don't know who the fuck is a good enough shot. Like even that fake guy who made that movie who lied about it, the sniper movie. He couldn't even make that shot because to like shoot someone down their cheekbone and through their ear, no. if that was on purpose instead of just like a miss, like they're well, like the, the best shot ever. Moving around while well, they're moving around yeah. and they're up there and talking and yeah, no, Trump's just like the luckiest like bastard oh, dude. alive, dude. Like he his like early onset dementia shivers where he moves when he talks that saved his life. That pretty yeah. much, yeah. I'm um, yeah. sorry. So, ah, it just is Pennsylvania. Oh, fuck. Okay, I, I only heard Pennsylvania. Time. That's fine. It was like, it was talking like to some... the entire state. Yeah, the state of Pennsylvania. Yeah. I did. I, when he, when he, uh, when I first heard about it, I thought it was, um, the RNC thing. What the thing where every congregate, not congregation. Oh my God. What's that? Like Republican National Convention? RNC? Yes, yes, that's what I thought it was. But it was just fucking Butler, Pennsylvania. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Butler fuck instead of bum fuck, it's Butler fuck Pennsylvania. There you <laughs> go. There's another pun. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, it's like they orchestrated this whole thing just so we'd have good puns. Yeah, exactly. That's what it was. Yeah. They said, I, Make puns better again. Trump did not get good service in Butler. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's not bad. That's not okay. bad. Yeah. You said before the pod you were listening to updates. Is yeah. there anything we should all know? Like, you said it was an AK-47? I I think it was. I can't remember um, exactly. Uh, I think it was an AK-47. I yeah. Be, I, a, no, AR style rifle. Oh, that just means yeah, assault it. rifle. That's just an assault rifle. I don't yeah. know anything about guns. People talk about guns around me, and I just go, I, I don't Dude, know what you're saying. They just I say have, numbers. They just say I have, numbers. Yeah, I have my gun license, and I don't know much about fucking guns. Like I know some, and then like people be like, "Oh, you have your gun license? Do you want to talk about guns?" And I'm like, "Sure." And they're like, blah, 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 number, like you just said. And I'm like, cool. But I know AR style just means it looks like an assault rifle. It just means it has like, because you either have like a rifle that's long and skinny, but AR style just means it looks like basically everybody knows what an AK-47 is. It's a machine gun. And it just means it has like the thick stock around the barrel and then a yeah. clip and then like a stock to hold on and a trigger. That's all that means. Like, it looks like an assault rifle instead of just a regular rifle. Doesn't even mean it was an assault rifle. Well, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, the guy, gunman's dead. Uh, what is it? One other person died. Two other people were seriously injured. And, yeah, who were the, uh, did they say who the people were died? Was it, like, They the haven't said anyone's him? name yet. Like, they're trying to find out the motivation. I uh, can tell you the motivation. Trump's a piece of shit, and a lot of people hate him. <laughs> There's your motivation. <laughs> so someone, uh, who knows, right? Like, uh, yeah. It, there's so much to be speculated about it because, I mean, it like was it a Democrat? Was it someone who was anti-Trump? We don't know. Yeah, it could have even been a never Trump Republican because, like, so the whole spin of the Democratic Party is they're like. This is an existential crisis election. Trump, if we don't win over Trump, democracy will go away. So, like, 
Democrats are pretending that when Trump gets into office, he's just going to be a dictator and somehow change all the rules of the way the states works that no other president has been able to. Because in some interview, he was joking about how he'd be a dictator for a day and just throw a bunch of yeah, throw a bunch of fucking Democrats in jail, which you know what I got to say? Throw all the politicians in jail. Throw Trump in jail, throw Biden in jail, throw Hunter Biden in jail, throw them all in jail. I don't give a fuck. Start over. They're all fucking that, 80 anyway. I mean, the, the entire system is curbed towards, you know, basically lobbyists and their yeah. interests anyway. So, it's like, whoever wins just had the most money pumped into their campaign by whatever supporter. And that's, if you look at the history of anyone who's ever won presidency, you'll look that they just had the most expensive campaign more expensive than any, the other president. Like, it's just based on complete how expensive these campaigns are, how many people it can reach. Trump's probably the closest one to ever win or by actually cheating, you know, like um, in the se- the second run he went for. But I don't know. Remember the whole Bush versus Gore one when he supposedly cheated? Uh, when we Bush were like or, 20? Or Gore? Bush. Bush, Bush when yeah. he won. And everybody like that doesn't make sense. He was cheating and stuff. So, I mean, yeah, I'm not I mean, saying it, he did because it was fucking 24 years ago, and I don't really remember. But I remember a lot of people being like, "That was shady as fuck." You know what they say though. I mean, if you aren't cheating, you know, you're not trying. You're not trying. Yeah. <laughs> and it's politics. They're all cheating. It's it's like they'll do anything to win. It's like the ultimate amount of power. They want to become president of the United States. It's basically like the most powerful person you can become in the world. So Yeah. Oh, hey, remember how before we started this podcast, I was like, uh, oh, I'm just going to try to find a good picture for my background. That's when I picked that. Yeah. I just, hold on, just give me one sec. Just bear with me. Guys, okay. and if you're if you're listening to the audio of this, um, sorry, <laughs> I don't I don't know what to tell you because you're not going to see this. Bam! What do you think of oh, that? Oh, nice. What do you think of that? <laughs> I actually kind I actually kind of like the one more where they have a close up of his face and he's like, yeah, and he's all and like, he's got like the blood on the side yeah, of it. It's got the blood. If you're listening to this, I just put up. The picture of Trump directly after he got shot in the face, and he has his hand up in a grimace, and he's like, Grr! "Yeah, so, there's no one who is going to win an election harder than that man right now." Dude, it's so bad because I hate Trump so much, but just him getting shot in the face and just being such a fucking dude about it makes me like him, like. <laughs> It's not even that I hate that I hate whoever tried to shoot him or whatever. It's just that he like got shot in the face. That he was like, "Fuck yeah, let's go!" And then the Secret Service were like, "No, we got to get you off the stage. Sure, this is an offense." He's like, "Oh, I'm good. I'm good." So, yeah. I mean, I've hated Trump since the Apprentice days, but I hate him less. That, I guess you could say. I mean, he's already like, they're like, "We oh, hope no one spins this into some kind of political thing." It was, it was a assassination attempt at a Trump rally. Yeah, I mean, what it already is a political thing. It was at a political rally. Yeah, exactly. They tried to kill him, and right away Biden comes out and it's like, you know, in his very Biden way, it's like, oh, condemn this. No one deserves this. I tried to phone Trump. I tried to, you know, I'll talk to yeah. him. I'll I'll try to talk to him. He's not going to talk to Trump and. Yeah, no. No. Trump doesn't want to talk to Biden. Trump will be like, I'll call Biden in between the hours of 1 and 4 p.m., the only time that my brain actually works and I can make full (laughs) sentences. (laughs) I feel like at least this will probably make Biden finally drop out because he's like, I can't drop out. I got to beat Trump. Like, there's no way you look at Biden and his performance during the Mm -hmm. fucking debates And how he, like, fucking his brain locked up and he froze. And then you see the other guy get shot in the face and then just be like, I'm good to go. Let's go. Like, 
Trump's only Trump's like <laughs> only three years younger than Biden, but it might as well be a hundred years at this point. You know, it's like it's not that far of a like it's not that far of an age gap, but like we all know people who are old and mm-hmm. they just like and they at some point it rapidly goes downhill for them pretty fast. And like yeah. that's basically what we're seeing with Biden. It's just like going downhill for him really fast. And he's like trying to stand in there and he's just a he just looks like a stubborn old man he just doesn't want to like give up his his car keys you know like (laughs) like, look grandpa you can't drive the car anymore okay you're gonna kill everyone okay Um, yeah like best case scenario is he drives into the ditch and barely hurts himself yeah i heard uh the best way i heard it explained is aging isn't linear like it's not like you hit a certain age and then you just get older and your brain kind of falls apart it's just like you get older and then at some point if you have parkinson's which they're saying is what happened to uh, biden because oh have you been paying attention to all the fucking drama with biden oh yeah so like there was this part where they're like they so the press got a hand their hand on the like visitor log to the White House, and they noticed that there was a Parkinson's doctor who went there, and they're like, "Yo, is this Parkinson's doctor talking to, or is this a Parkinson's doctor?" And then they're like, "That black chick who talks to the press or whatever I can't remember her press secretary or whatever." She's like, "No," and I'm offended you asked. And then later she was like, "Actually, yeah, it was. I'm sorry, I lied." And then they're like all this thing. And then it turns out that this like Parkinson's guy went to talk to someone in the White House. They Mm -hmm. don't know who because like the way Parkinson's works is it's not like um, something you can test. Like you can't test your blood and be like, oh, you have Parkinson's. They basically a Parkinson doctor looks at your symptoms and is like okay this person is very likely to have parkinson's and then like some of the parkinson's things is losing your speech and it's like and it's basically what happens to me on this podcast where i can't remember words <laughs> like, yeah stuttering yes yeah, stuttering like when i couldn't remember the republican the republican national convention when i couldn't remember yeah. the word convention that's a parkinson's thing so i might be getting parkinson's you and may another have early onset dementia. I do, which Alzheimer's. Cool. Just let me remember. That's good fine. Stuff. Is that yeah. a welder thing? Does that happen Probably. to welders? I think I mean, it happens to electricians. They use their, you know, it's just like too much of this little small things. <laughs> yeah, you focus too much on stuff, and then your brain fries. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was gonna say, um, more symptoms that. Biden has been like his stiff gait when he like when he when like someone goes to start to walk and they kind of like lean into it like they're a big muppet that's one uh the blank look on your face is another one the rigid arms and stuff is another one so basically all the stuff where you're like well that guy looks fucking old that might be parkinson's so anyways yeah i mean but yeah it, if he has it i mean that sucks and but he definitely like they they should have picked a better candidate. Oh yeah, like a year ago. You know, it's not. It's just too <laughs> like, late. Like more. And the yeah. fucked up thing was they didn't even have primaries. They were like, we're not going to have primaries because you don't traditionally do that with an incumbent president. So right. basically, what that means is the party who's president, like when Obama in two thousand whatever when he was going for his second term. They didn't have primaries because they're like, they don't it's, have just primaries. Be fucking, it's just it's just Obama again or when Bush was going into a second term. So <clears throat> they're like, technically, it's and it's like not like a rule where you have to or you don't have to. It's just like, well, traditionally, they didn't do this. So we're going to just go with that custom. And they didn't have primaries and they shut everybody down. And then and that's why RFK is now independent, because. He was going to be a Democrat, and then they're like, they're probably not going to have <clears throat> primaries, and then RFK's like, fuck it, I'll go out and do it on myself. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so no, they definitely, they should, they not only should have had 
a different candidate a year ago. They should have even, Biden shouldn't have even ran in 2020. Like he was old as fuck then. And uh, really, if they had had uh, Kamala, is that her name? Kamala Harris? Yeah. If they had had her run instead of Biden at that time, there's probably, it was before she kind of did all the dumb stuff, you know? Well, no, because she, she would have had a chance. In 2020, she was like, during the primary, she was like kind of in last place. So it was like super surprising that Biden actually picked her for his VP because he basically just picked her because she's a black woman, whereas all the other contestants or whatever that go vibe for stuff, they, they were doing better than her. Because wasn't they, there like 20 other like yeah. people running for president that year? There was a like, bunch. It was crazy. And I just heard some other spicy news that they, because they always said that they picked Biden because he was the only one that could beat Trump. But then one of the like DNC insiders or someone recently on a podcast was like, no, we didn't pick Biden because he could beat Trump. There are many people who could have beat Trump. We picked Biden because he was the only one that could beat Bernie Sanders. And that poor Bernie Sanders just gets fucked two elections he did ago. come on yeah. bernie like remember russia again yeah remember russia gate how it was like totally fake and everybody's like oh russia helped fucking the the republicans show how dirty the democrats were and what the what those emails showed was basically that hillary and the dnc completely colluded just to fuck bernie So we should have been whoever whoever was behind those leaked emails. It's probably Assange. Assange. Yeah. Yeah. Very possible. Yeah. I totally lost my train of thought. I was yeah, doing Biden's, good there. Biden's old. Biden's it was like old. 10 minutes there where I kept talking. <laughs> Biden I'll just old. throw that in. But yeah. <laughs> oh, and, yeah. And I think it's... <laughs> breaking news i don't know if you know this <laughs> matt have you heard that biden is old i have actually i just broke that news to myself when i said that you want to hear something fucked sure before i have one current uncle who like just i think he's like 64 right now but before that there hadn't been a male in my family that reached the age of 60 in like three generations dude you're so like, close <laughs> I am. I've only got 15, 15 years in one month. Not even that. Can you even believe that? Dude, when my so daughter's 60. When my daughter's 16, I'll be 60. I'll be the oldest dad that's ever dadded. Yeah. You yeah. like it. I, I think that's perfect because then when you get to be like 65, she's moved out of the house and you can just retire. Oh man, that's that's actually really dope. No yeah. fucking in between steppies. No, no in between. You don't have to keep working or anything. You can mm -hmm. just retire, mm -hmm. and they'd be like, "All right, she moved out." Empty oh nest. my god! Then, then we're gonna start a fucking sitcom, and it'll just be me being old and fucking annoying and lonely because I'm retired, and her being like twenty and being like not started her career yet because she's just getting things going, and me ending <laughs> my career will like hang out. And I'll just annoy her with my old manness. Empty nest, empty nest too. Yeah, and then and there and there could be a puppet. And you know what we're for sure. Puppet. Throw a puppet in there, <laughs> like fucking yeah. Jeff Dunham. Have a I can't remember the something? sitcom where they had the puppet. I can't remember now what it was Alf? called. Uh, and it was the one with John. Wasn't it John Ritter? Um, what? Uh, John Ritter. There was Greg the Bunny. It was the one where he, John Ritter died while they were making the sitcom. I can't what? remember what it was called. Okay, wait. John And it had the Ritter's chick from Big Bang Theory in it. That was her first sitcom. sitcom. Kaylee Kowoko? Yeah. Eight Simple Rules? Wasn't that it? Where there's a puppet in it? Or am I thinking another one? I don't know if there was a puppet. Okay, wait. Here, let me just go. John Ritter. Puppets sitcom i could be way off here you but, could be just yeah. um 
I remember there's a one sitcom where it just had some random puppet in it, and I can't remember what it was. There was Greg the Bunny. And it wasn't Elf. Are you was thinking Greg the Bunny with uh, Seth Green? And Maybe it was. And he, him and called? Eugene Levy worked on a children's show called Shiny Time Station. No, that probably wasn't it. But anyways, the the puppets were like alive and actually considered like they were like just actors or whatever and it was like the hijinks dude i didn't even know that sitcom existed i'm just looking oh at dude it right you now. should watch it it's good i should seth green eugene mm-hmm. levy i think it's eugene levy that and then like there's him. like greg the bunny and i think there's yeah, like a him. vampire one and then there's that movie with melissa mccarthy did you watch that with the mup with the puppets hold on mccarthy the muppet movie <laughs> puppet movie happy time murders did you see that came no, out six years ago it's happy uh it's all right it's just oh, well. all right it's uh, getting a rip-roaring 23% on Rotten Tomato. Dude, Rotten Tomatoes is fucking and, garbage. And 40% I've, users. I've always hated Rotten Tomatoes. If you want to go watch a pretentious homework movie, go buy Rotten Tomatoes. Because they're like, oh, this movie seems smart. You should watch it. And then you watch it and you're like, I guess it's a dream within a dream. Inception's not that smart. I kind of can wrap my mind around it. I don't know why everybody's having so much trouble with this movie. Fucking Inception. Everyone's like, Are you this talking is the shit smart- about it? This is the smartest shit movie you'll about ever Inception? see. Yes, I'm talking shit about How Inception. How dare you? That movie's boring. That they're top like, didn't fall. They're like, guess what? Guess what? Okay, you guys know how we went into this guy's dream and we're in his head? Guess what we're fucking doing next? We're going into that guy's dream who's in the dream. And then everybody's just like dead because they can't handle two levels of separation of I don't reality. Know. I was more I more liked it because of the cool visual effects. Yeah, those are cool. Like when the van was falling off the river. I I love it was pretty sweet. I love how it's like a smart movie, but they have to like hold your hand and walk you through stuff. They're like, okay, since the van is (laughs) falling off the bridge and time goes slower when you're in the dream in the dream, it looks like they're falling in free fall. So that's why that's happening. And everybody's like, oh, I'm so smart. I figured it out. I, I like all his movies. How dare you? All whose movies? Uh, Nolan, isn't it Christopher Nolan? Oh yeah, the guy who he made Black Knight, right? Yeah, Dark Knight, and yeah. he did Tenet. Oh, I haven't watched Tenet yet. I bet that's so smart. I won't be able to wrap my it's head around that. Super smart. They bend time. Ooh. Super smart. Let me guess. They they go back in time and stuff changes. I really actually don't remember. I only saw it once. <laughs> was it too smart, Matt? You couldn't handle it? It was too smart. Okay, Matt, just tell me this. Am yeah. I going to have to take notes and watch this movie twice? You will have to watch it twice. Okay. Yeah. I really like the main actor, the guy from Ballers, the black guy with the beard. No idea yeah. what his name is. No, the, everyone's good in it. Mm-hmm. Did he do Looper or is that someone else? Looper with Bruce Willis and... Who the 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 black guy wasn't in Looper? Are you asking if no. Nolan directed it? Yeah, did he direct Looper? Oh, probably because they're like Joseph Gordon-Levitt is Bruce Willis as a young person, I love and then Looper. everybody's How like, "Dare you?" <laughs> it wasn't him. It was some guy named Ryan Johnson. I did like Looper. It's so funny. Because I've been, I've just been shitting on Nolan's movies where it's like it's a dream within a dream, and everybody flips out. But I fucking love M Night Shyamalan movies. Yeah. Oh my god, I love them all. It's like I forget I love M Night Shyamalan because I just listen to the except for Lady in the Water. That movie sucks, and I'll never watch it again. 
but it's I like don't signs, remember watching it, and that's how I know the it was really happening. Bad. The movie with the aliens, Arrival, fucking, what was the one? Ri- he didn't do Arrival. The Village. No, um, not Arrival. The other one with Charlie Sheen and Joaquin Phoenix. Maybe Charlie Sheen wasn't even in it. The one with Joaquin Phoenix with the aliens. Wasn't that just Signs? Yeah, Signs. That oh. one was good. Oh, and that fucking movie, what was it called? Old? The one with the Old. island? Yeah, I watched oh that. that was, I really liked that. It was so good. Dude, it has one of the most disturbing scenes I've ever seen in my life. When they're going through the cave and that lady with the candle and she has the fucking bone disease. Okay, spoiler alert. If you haven't watched Old, you're not going to. <laughs> but it's great. Anyways, so there's they go to this island where some fucking thingamajigger MacGuffin device makes everybody age super or makes time go by really fast on this island and this girl what was her disease it's like this one where it makes your bones cement was a multiple sclerosis or i don't i don't know anyways it's just like you saw that movie in the theater oh crazy but it's like this bone hardening disease so she's crawling after these kids and it's like her arm breaks And then it just sets really. So, yeah. So she has this disease where her bones are really soft. So she keeps breaking and then healing and then breaking again. And then she's like crawling through this cave. And then her arms are all like spiraled. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to watch the whole movie. Basically, they go to this island. It makes them old. And they like talk about it. And then it ends. Just go or, or put the movie on streaming. Fast forward to that scene, creep yourself out, and then turn it off. I don't care. But also I love M. Under, Night Shyamalan Underrated movies. M. Night Shyamalan movie, too, is a movie called The Visit. Which one's that? They go to visit their, like, grandma, mm-hmm. I, and it's basically crazy well, I haven't seen happens. that. Yeah. And that's, like, the ground. I should watch it. Yeah. The weird thing is, I don't like, want to spoil the M. Night Shyamalan movie. You, you don't want to say anything the and spoil it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's funny because like I'll watch an M Night Shyamalan movie and I'm like, fuck, I love M Night Shyamalan. Why don't I watch his movies? And then like you'll say the grandparents one. I'm like, eh, I don't know. Kind of looks kind of. But I know happens, if I watch right? it, I'll fucking love it. That that's the kind of movies he does. Oh, another terrible movie he made, by the yeah. way, is Airbender. Or you want to hear a secret? You want to hear a secret that makes people hate me so much? I love that movie. I, I knew you were going to say that. I love it because I watched. <laughs> I knew. I've heard you lead up to that so many times in my dude, life where dude. you're like, you know what? You want to hear a secret? Who is that? I don't know that one where Eddie Murphy fucking wears all this, this shit all over it. It's all, what was that movie called? Norbit? I didn't did like did? Norbit. Yeah, okay, I did okay. not. I just but was that's just, bugging you that's about just something it. I picture. No, see, the thing about Norbit was I hated it. It was annoying, but there was a couple funny scenes. So if you do, uh, full disclosure, me and Matt used to work at Blockbuster together and Norbit came out and were we did we watch it. Oh, it was like it was because when you worked at video stores back when we were young, when we were like very young, literally 20 years ago. Blockbuster would get a disc, like a DVD. If you don't know what that is, I don't know why you're watching this because you're too young to listen to us old fucks. You've never heard of DVDs. Yeah, you put a DVD in a DVD player, oddly enough. Cool name. And it's just full of the newest movies that are coming out. And when Norbit came out, there was a trailer for Norbit. And there was the scene that... <laughs> I laugh even thinking about it because of how much I'm annoyed now. I know which scene this is. <laughs> in the movie, so basically in the movie, Eddie Murphy plays himself and he's cuckolded by his super fat girlfriend that he had since he was a kid. And they go to a water park and she goes down a slide and then she's like this and in the trailer it just goes, I'm sliding! And she just fucking she's so fat so she goes so fast she shoots through the wall uh. of the water park and then it shows like a cartoon <laughs> cut out of her body uh, the movie's so dumb but that part makes me laugh honestly even- that is a funny part 
That is the funniest part of that movie. (laughs) So I can give you credit for that because it's just so, I don't know. Eddie Murphy, I don't care what anyone says. He might have done the shittiest, dumbest movies in the world. But he's a comedic genius. And this movie would play. And every genius. time it plays, I would be like, I fucking hate this trailer. God, we need a new <laughs> disc. And I would just be like, I'm sliding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, if you don't have the friendship where you could just 20 years later say something annoying and the other person <laughs> automatically knows, like, are you even friends? <laughs> Uh, oh. that's, uh yeah man yeah eddie murphy <laughs> norbit there's like a new m night Shyamalan movie coming out isn't there um i'm puts... pretty sure he puts one out every year so i'm yeah i'm not doubting that and the funny thing is like you thought he was done and he didn't make movies but he was making movies the whole time oh the trap with um that guy josh hartnett Dude, the guy's only 53 years old. He's made like 100 movies. Dude, that guy has probably more bangers. Like, because there's directors who are better than M. Night Shyamalan. Like, say, oh, yeah. Quentin Tarantino or whatever. But Quentin Tarantino only has like, what, 10, 9 movies? He has 10 now. Okay. Last movie was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And that was supposed to be his last movie. Yeah, and then he what he was, was it going to make 10? Didn't he get out of it because he said one was a loophole because he only. Um, I think it was uh, the Grindhouse movies because it was like just. Oh, yeah, he didn't count it. So he was feature. supposed to be done, but he like, yeah. Okay, so. He did. Yeah, hold up. Yeah, go ahead. We're not live. So Andrew just has to get something out of the room. You know what's the best part? Okay, we're back on. We're back on. You know what's the best part is I gave you a list of like 12 things. And I'm like, hey, here's your homework before we do the podcast. And we have 40, 40 minutes in, we haven't talked about one. And then Trump gets shot in the face. <laughs> and what we else go are we going to talk about? You know what? I'm not done talking about M. Night Shyamalan either. No. Okay. No. I'm going to go through movies and you tell me if you like them or not. These okay. are M. Night Shyamalan's. I got his list. Knock at the cabin. I, I probably haven't seen. No, that's one I haven't seen yet. I haven't. It's seen good. One. I like. I've it. heard mixed reviews, but I I, I think I'm gonna like it. It's six I just one. Have this feeling about it. It's six one on IMDb. Old right. we just talked about. Yeah, I liked old. Glass. I liked it. Confession. I haven't seen it. Okay. I haven't seen Split either, which is his next one. I love Split. Because Split. I was like, it looks really like. Good. I don't know. It just looked like. I heard rumors that it was like the guy has like what 43 different personalities and one of them like yeah. raped a chick or something. And I was like, I don't really. And then I was just like, I'm not in the mood for rape right now. And then I just never went back to it. And and then one day I'll be like, you know, I'm kind of in the mood for rape. So <laughs> I'm just going to watch this. <laughs> it's more like I'm in the mood. I, I, I watch, I kind to of, watch split know. and I'll muscle through. I'll put up with it. Uh, what's his name's really good in it? Um, the actor uh, James, James Malfoy, McAvoy. McAvoy. Yeah, McAvoy. He's really dude. Good. That guy's fucking dope. It's too bad. I he, love. Yeah, he's awesome. It's too bad he burned his like MCU universe by being Professor X because he could have been like way better character as someone else. Okay, next is the visit. Yep. You okay. already talked about that. You said it was good. After Earth. I thought it was good. I haven't seen it. Is that Will Smith? Yeah, that's okay. So this one. I haven't seen it. This was, so M. Night Shyamalan, he was going every two years he was making a movie. So he goes 2000 and, okay, wait, here we go. So 1999, he makes The Sixth Sense. 2000, he makes Unbreakable. Both bangers. 2002, Signs. Banger. 2004, The Village banger 2006 lady in the water not a banger but people liked it 2008 the happening banger people didn't like it 2010 the last airbender and then you're like well fuck he's his career's done everybody hated him 
statistically speaking, it is the worst movie. It's got four on IMDb, whereas Lady in the Water has 5.5 and The Happening only has five. But then three years later, he comes back under the wire and makes After Earth. But he, but it wasn't like they didn't put his name on the poster or in the advertisements because they're like, we're just right. going to like let him make this movie and see how good it was. But it also felt like he was the director, but Will Smith kind of was like telling him what he was going to direct. Yeah. Because Jaden Smith, Smith was in it. a huge star, right? Yeah. yeah. And Jaden Smith was in it. And it was kind of yeah. like, it felt a lot like the only way they let M. Night Shyamalan make After Earth was there like, Will Smith wants to make a movie with his kid and you're going to let them do it. And you're just going to like do directing to make the movie work. You're not going to like make it all like M. Night shyamalan and super good. But it is still good. But I do have to warn you. Jaden Smith in this movie is a fucking lot. It's a lot. He's so fucking annoying, and he's such a bad actor. It's a lot, and it's you know also what his... I noticed actually yeah. about that is that you mentioned this that he probably he did this movie, he directed this movie with these big egos, like he had Will Smith, Jaden Smith, you know, huge yeah. egos in this movie, and then after that movie, if you look at his history here, it's like he did the visit. There's like no one in that. There's yeah. no stars. <laughs> Yeah, two years later, because they were probably like, all right, you did After Earth. You fucking sucked Hollywood's dick. You let fucking Will Smith make a movie with his kid in his passion project. We'll let you do another M. Night Shyamalan movie. And he comes back with The Visit, and then he's fucking back. He's fucking back. Everybody loves The Visit. It's rated 6.3. And now he's just kind of just doing whatever he wants. Yeah. You know, like he directed The Visit. He did split so he went back to um sort of like that universe the unbreakable universe the unbreakable universe oh that's another reason that's another reason i didn't watch split i didn't know it was the same universe as unbreakable so i should go back you know what oh for sure i'm giving myself homework i'm gonna watch split you watch split I just finished some TV show, so I'm right in between whatever I'm going to watch. So I will half watch Split, and I will play a video game at the same time, and I'll probably miss some super important. You don't want to actually split your viewings of that. Hey! Uh-huh. <laughs> Good one, Matt. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Yeah. I so just that's knocks it. Knocks them down. I just seize them and I knocks them down. Yeah. That's so all. we we worked. All the way through. He has less movies than I thought he did. Okay, here, let me quickly count. Oh, I never I saw. I thought he had more, too. He had one in 1992. Oh, dude, but that Servant TV series was actually really good um, on Apple TV. I don't have that, Apple TV directed, anymore. He directed all of those. No, it so says he only, no, probably, he produced. He produced he all of them. Some. He directed five of them. Oh. Okay. I'm IMD being so much better than you right now. I suck at IMDb. I no, I, I saw that, and then I saw the producer tab because I was like, I haven't even heard of the show. And no, Servant Servant was really good, but it's yeah. kind of fucked up. But it's on there. Apple TV, and who the fuck has Apple TV except for people I, who... I do. Fucking, I don't. My brother had Apple TV, and he only, he only had the, like, the trial period where he had it for three months. And so I got the thing, and I watched all of Ted Lasso. And... I got to say, lives up to the hype. Yeah, Ted Lasso's pretty good. If you third haven't watched season, Ted Lasso... Third season lost me. Yeah, third, third season, season when What's-His-Face is the bad guy. Yeah. But then he turns into the good guy again, it's good. But Ted Lasso's super... It's one of the best TV shows. Okay. It, it's really good. It's quality. It's not... It's one of the best comedy shows. Dramedy. I guess you would have to say dramedy. Because it's not straight comedy and it's not straight drama. Anyways, it's kind of yeah. weird. I usually enjoy shows and TV about sports that I have absolutely no interest in. So if it's <laughs> like about, it's like a soccer movie, I'll be like, I'll watch it. I hate, I don't like soccer. But I'll watch it. Then I watch them like, oh, I really like this. Maybe I'll try yeah. watching soccer. And then I put soccer. I'm like, 
no, I, I still can't stand soccer. Oh, dude, that's funny you brought that up because that's actually timely. Because Canada was just in some, like, super big soccer thing. And everybody in Canada was like, we're going to watch soccer. We're going to be fans of soccer. Because <laughs> they're going to do this thing. And then that fucking guy took this huge dive. And everybody lost their fucking mind. They're like, he didn't even touch him. And he dove. And then Kone, like, kicked the ball and hit him in the back. And they got, like, a yellow card for it. And, they're like, all of Canada was losing their fucking mind. And then they're like... Oh, wait, soccer fucking sucks because everybody dies in soccer. This is terrible. <laughs> we don't like this sport. <laughs> That's exactly it. Like, Canada tries so hard to yeah. like, involve themselves in soccer. It's just, yeah, guys, it's just not us, okay? Mm -hmm. We like sports where people get hit, and if they dive, yeah. they literally get shamed for their okay. entire rest of their career. That's I know. That's what we want to see. I know we all knew hockey players in high school and they're fucking assholes. So a lot of us just hate hockey players in general, but you just got to get over it because it's the literally the best sport. It has everything. It has fucking skill, finesse. If some guy pisses you off, you punch him in the face. If some guy hits the young kid, you fucking go fight them. The, like the best thing about hockey is it's not soccer for one. And there's not all this fucking, Ooh, he hit my shin. Uh, and diving was like, hockey has all these like unwritten gentlemen's code shit where it's like, like in the playoffs, you saw it. Like there's stuff that you don't even know. Like you'll listen to some old guys talk. It's, it's, it's like unwritten rules. Like I learned so many more of these unwritten rules. Like the one thing I learned was, um, Watching the Canucks versus Oilers playoffs, there was a whole bunch of shit that happened. But, like, in one of the scrums, JT Miller punches Connor McDavid, like one of the scrums after the whistle. JT Miller punches Connor McDavid three times in the face, just like trying to get like fucking riled up. And then, like, five minutes later, Connor McDavid high sticks Quinn Hughes in the face. And this is like some unwritten rule where it's like, they there's this kind of thing where it's like Connor McDavid is the most skilled guy on the Oilers. JT Miller's almost the most skilled guy on the fucking Canucks, but he's not the captain or whatever. So it's like, there's this unwritten rule where it's like, if you're dirty and you go after our skills guy, we're going to go after your guy and like, we'll be cheap back. So it's like, and the best thing about hockey is it's like, there's almost like these tiers of players. Like there's the skill guys like Connor McDavid, Quinn Hughes, and these other guys. Then there's like the good guys, which is like JT Miller would be good. Drysidle would be good. And then there's just like the plugs. And then there's the rookies. So if anybody hits the rookies, they're like, oh, this is just a fucking kid because he's literally 18. And you have you have 18 year olds playing with 30 year olds. So you could fucking kill them just because they're small. So you don't do that. <laughs> and then you have like, and basically it's like the middle guys, like the plugs. Nobody gives a fuck. They could do whatever they want to each other. But if a plug attacks a skills guy and is like cheap about it, then they go after him. So it's like, it's almost this like, I'm trying to think, like I want to say Bushido code, but I don't know enough about Bushido. It just makes me sound smart. It's almost like chivalry, but instead of like girls, it's other boys, like a knight's code or whatever. Like yeah. honor system, it's, like there's an honor yeah. system in hockey. Like, yeah, exactly. you're allowed to fight. You're you're allowed to punch people, but you're not allowed to punch that guy. Yeah, if you punch that guy, then you're gonna be the one who's gonna pay for it later on, mm -hmm. right? Because uh, yeah. some guy will punch you. Hockey is a vastly superior sport to soccer. Oh, in dude, every way. in every respect. I yeah. mean, the only thing about soccer is it's impressive. They run for 90 minutes. But other than that, they're impressive athletes. It's a, I mean, I'm sure there's a reason people like it. It's just it's just like we, we live in North America and our most popular sports. Well, I mean, that's not true. I mean, baseball is pretty mm. popular. That's pretty uh, damn yeah. slow. But not in uh, Canada, though. Yeah, base, baseball is not like baseball's a hangout sport like if someone's like like i will never watch baseball by myself at home 
But like Andrea's parents love baseball and they always want to watch baseball and I'll watch it when I'm hanging out with them. Or yeah. if someone's like, do you want to go watch live baseball? I'm like, yeah, sure. That's cool. We'll hang out at the park, shoot yeah, the hot shit. hot dogs, and get a beer. But if, if there's an Oilers game on and I'm home and I'm not doing anything more important, I'm watching it by myself. Doesn't matter. It's the only sport I'll watch by myself. You can watch it and be entertained. Mm -hmm. Baseball, you're right. Like baseball is like a background. You can have baseball in the background or whatever. You look up once in a while, someone hits a home run. But then soccer's like, it's just like, there's so much action, but so little happens at the same time that it just makes it like almost an yeah. exercise in futility to watch the sport. And then they get, you know, they, they score a goal like twice a game. And then you're like, that's oh, a high okay. scoring game. That's a high scoring game. And yeah, then it can end they, in a tie. Yeah. They regularly like, well, what the fuck was end. the point to all this. Yeah. And they have games ending nil, 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 nil. No, thanks. <laughs> they don't even say nothing. They just say nil. They don't say nil. They They're can't like, even say we're so tired zero. from watching this dumbass sport. We can't even say the whole word nothing. We say nil. Nil. Though I do find kind of the idea of soccer, some of the things like the teams can be like, if they win, they can like move up to a whole nother yeah. league. Like that's relegation, pretty cool. Relegation. Relegation and promotion is fucking yeah. dope. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Hockey, that would be kind of cool hockey too. Like if they had like an AHL team and like yeah. they just got like really good, they're like, guess what? Your team's in the NHL now. They'd be like, what? <laughs> You're yeah, all in the wild. NHL now. That would be that would so be crazy. That No, I do love that because then you could get rid of fucking like teams that are just terrible. They can go down. But it would be, it would be almost cooler if, they did that with like um, the NHL and the KHL and the Swiss League, where it's like whatever team wins the KHL, they like they they don't even go. They just do a transfer for a year, where they get a takeover. They come to like America and just take over the rink of like say who who finished last place last year, uh, Columbus. San Jose? Oh yeah, San Jose. So it's like fucking locomotive or whatever russian team they win the khl so they come to san jose and they just get their arena and they get all their stuff and then they just like we have like a khl team in the nhl and then san jose takes their whole team and has to go over to khl and it'd be funny because that would be amazing because be there's amazing. no way an NHL team would lose in the khl so they yeah. would most likely just be a year of punishment and they then they could come back. Again, for sure. Yeah. And that KHL team wouldn't stand it. No, like a they chance. would get lit the fuck up. But yeah. it would be even funnier if that KHL team didn't finish last place. So you had two KHL teams. They'd be like trying to bribe the refs in the okay. NHL. I'd be like, please. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> please. <laughs> I, 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 this, I could do a good Russian money. accent, take but it money. takes me a sec. Would you want money. you want us to come play as worst team in your league? Sure, but your worst team has to go play as our best team, as we come, we bring Russia to U.S. <laughs> <laughs> you San Jose just, Sharks, you Russian Sharks now. <laughs> it's just the Yakov Smirnov. It's like yeah, when they were trying to like, trying to do the impression of who is the player they're impersonating. I uh, got all pissed off about it. I can't remember now, but oh, um, Kucherov, uh, Kucherov, Kucherov. That was it. Yeah, San Jose Sharks no more. <laughs> now Saint Petersburg Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be amazing. They should just do that for a year. It yeah, would, it would be interesting. Oh my God, Saint Petersburg Sharks would be amazing. Okay, here's what we got to do, Matt. We okay. have to fucking end the war in Ukraine because there's no fucking way this is happening while that war is going on. No. Oh, I'm going to make you a fan of war, Matt. Okay. Okay. A fan of war. You're going to this. I'm going to make I'm going to turn you into a fucking right wing war hawk. And okay. this is how. Say 
the fucking European people like Germany or I don't know if it's Germany, but France and Britain, they give Ukraine long range missiles and they give Ukraine permission to strike deep into Moscow to, or deep into Russian territory with these missiles. Russia sees this as like, this was our red line. We told you not to fuck around. You're about to find out. They launch one nuclear missile and they take out some bullshit European country we don't care about. Take your pick, whichever one you like the least. And then everybody goes, whoa, 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 whoa. We're fucking ending this right now. So then the States or whoever launches a giant, like, two nuclear missiles at Russia and then Russia's like, okay, we could see, sorry. And then the fucking world war three starts and ends within like three hours. And then part of the like Russia end or part of world war three ending is Russia has to suck America's dick. Like literally like Putin has to come <laughs> suck Biden's dick because that would be way funnier than anyone else. Yeah. That'd be and better. then Part of their losing sanctions is they have to take a fucking team from the NHL. They have to take the worst team in the <laughs> NHL. <laughs> so now are you a fan of World War III? It's only uh, going to take two hours, and the only thing that's going to happen is I, some bullshit country in Europe is going to be gone. <laughs> take well, your according to According to uh, that, that recent podcast with that nuclear – lady on joe rogan it's only going to take 20 minutes even it's better there. i got 20 minutes yeah there you go yeah, we've been fucking like nothing we've been talking for an, an hour that could have been of, uh, three nuclear wars by the time it's done i'm through an episode of what we do in shadows and i could just be like hey guys uh... okay here i'm gonna give you a list of countries that we could lose you tell me okay so Probably gonna have to be one of the like. We're gonna piss white... off some kind of one person who lives out of our out of our friend group who who's from that country somehow. You know what? There's no fuck this. Okay, There's how no about Chechia? This. What the fuck's Chechia ever done? Never heard of Chechia. Exactly. It used to be part of fucking USSR. I don't even know. Is that even it's a not... country? Is it? Yeah, it's. Unless I'm saying this wrong. Yeah, it's Chechia. It's in between Germany and Slovakia. Right above Austria. Dude, what the fuck? That doesn't even seem like a real... Co you know what? Neither of us knew it existed. We didn't know it existed five minutes ago. If Putin shoots a fucking missile right into... Here, I'm going to find the capital. Right into Prague. Wait. Prague? Prague is in, uh, isn't Prague, I don't know, apparently, countries anymore. Cause Dude, I, know I thought Prague, Prague city, though. I knew Prague was, like, the capital of. Prague is the largest city of the Czech Republic. Oh, that's the why. Chechnya used to be the Czech Republic. There you go. It's not called that anymore. Because we're fucking dumb. We can't take out Chechi. It's got gothic churches. Okay. Okay. How about... Because we can't take out, like, Slovakia. Because that might as well be Russia. Right? Oh, wait. Holy fuck. Wow. <laughs> I'm just... I'm learning geography as we go. <laughs> because I had no idea that's where Hungary was. Like, I was looking at... you. Okay, basically we're talking... Any country east of Ukraine, and that's like, how about Slovakia? I feel like that's too Russian. It wouldn't hurt enough. Okay, you know what? We're going with the big ones. You have to pick <laughs> one of these countries to lose. Okay. We're going. I'm not. You know what? I'm going to be a nice guy. I'm not going to group the U United Kingdom together. Scotland, Ireland, and England are separate. Yeah, you shouldn't do that anyway. For those their sake, so. France. Netherlands, I'm only throwing that in. It's not that big, but it's Netherlands is the country of my people. It's the country of the cheese, too. Germany or Spain? I said France, right? All right. So I'm picking. Okay, here. I'm going, to, I'm going to read the list again. We got Spain, France, Ireland, England, Scotland, Netherlands, Germany. Pick one of those. Let's 
think France. I guess I'd go France. Whatever. Which group of people do you hate the most? Yeah, France. <laughs> you know what? Fuck France. Fuck they France. killed the Templar Knights. King Louis the fucking 14th or whatever <laughs> in the year 1300 killed the Templar Knights. They were dope. Way to go, you dickhead. And and I pretty much have to learn French to visit there anyway. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. And with you France. know what? If you're one of our listeners and you speak French, you don't live or in France, France. So fuck off. I don't think we have any listeners in France. We've really dodged a bullet there because I feel like I, I know a couple or... people from France, so Do you? Yeah. Do they live in France now? They don't. They don't. You know I why? Because France sucks. <laughs> Actually, I do know one person who lives in France right now. Really? <laughs> but they're not from France. They're from They're from uh, Berlin. They moved to France. When did they move to France? Moved to France. I. They're not really like a friend. They're just kind of an acquaintance, but they just moved to France and they... See? You don't like care if they die. Like, We're blowing up friends. Ah, they're acquaintances. <laughs> You're talking yourself into it. You're like, ah, they're not they're really a friend. If they fucking turn <laughs> into a shadow on a wall, how bad would I be? <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, it's, it's just fr- You know, but France does have a lot of good cheese. But yeah, they you're make- not a cheesemonger anymore, Matt. Don't let that persuade you. We're blowing up France. You know, I still feel like the other countries have better cheese. The tribe has spoken. <laughs> yeah, other Netherlands, countries. Netherlands. Oh yeah, Come Gouda. On. Gouda. What what cheese does France have? Blue cheese. What? I can't live without Manchego. Uh, actually, you know what? Spain. I'm gonna give you one thing. That would suck about France. That's where all the caveman caves and all the caveman paintings are, is in southern France. Oh, yeah, they have lots of good art but, there, too, right? But you know what? France is one of the biggest countries land-wise in Europe, so maybe if we hit it in the north, the south will be okay. I'm still on France. We're blowing up France. Sounds if, good. If we get a KHL team in the NHL, I'm willing to lose France. That is a bargain I'm it's willing to make. It. <laughs> totally <laughs> worth it. St. Peter's, St. Peter's, St. Petersburg Sharks. I lost the accent. I lost the accent. St. Petersburg Sharks. Hey, you want, you want St. Petersburg you want sharks? sharks? You got to let us nuke France. <laughs> <laughs> you give us the Frenchies, we give the Sharkies. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You know what else King Louis did? He fucking kicked all the fucking Jewish people out of France the year before he killed all the Templar knights. So that'll make you feel better about it. That's not nice. Yeah, you jerk. Very nice. Fucking a thousand years ago, you jerk. A thousand years ago? 800 years, 700 years ago. (laughs) You know, it's really hard to find a country that didn't have like a really big bunch of assholes in it a thousand years ago. Yeah, it is. I can't even yeah. say my home country because they There's, they did some yeah. fucking bad shit. There's like the Vikings Dutch Indies Company? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Boer War? Yeah. I guess the Vikings were like 400. Yeah, that, that was like more north. That was like Denmark. That was more. Yeah, Denmark. Yeah. Yeah, that was the Slovs. Slobs. Slobs. The Slavs. They've, they've, they've had to like fucking deal with all that by living in those cold ass countries that's their punishment their punishment for being vikings is they have to live in the coldest fucking countries on the planet there you go yeah loot and pillage yeah loot and pillage yeah there's a it's like why would these people just get in boats and go loot and pillage then you go look at fucking den or like iceland and you're like oh yeah that makes sense it's fucking dark six months a year (laughs) and they're fucking translucent because the sun doesn't shine okay wait uh sweden norway and finland yeah those are all the or wait what are the fucking viking countries like denmark I i'm just think burning it's all the so norwegian much. countries it's all the norwegian countries i think they have like some norwegian sweden and norway norway sweden finland 
No, hi, Sweden. Oh, man, there's this show, Ragnarok. And it's uh, Swedish, I think. Yeah. And I 100% recommend everybody watch it because it'll make you able to speak with a Swedish accent. <laughs> and I watch it. And this guy, this guy has, like, the coolest mom. And he's, like, running out of the house. It's, like, basic teenager stuff. And she's like, do you want a banana? Take a banana for your lunch. You might get hungry later. <laughs> you want a banana? And then he's mean to his mom. I was like, don't be mean to her. She has the funniest accent. <laughs> she gives be mean people to bananas. That kind of offer. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to buy her furniture? Back up, mom. Back if you up. pay us extra, we will put it together for you. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off yeah fuck off oh, your man. smelly banana i don't want your banana i'm in a hurry <laughs> <laughs> i'm in a hurry mom i just uh, I, every time i do it i just end up sounding like weird british that's what all accents are they're just offshoots of british just offshoot british accents yeah now that we've offended all of our European listeners, we've offended pretty much everyone. Who do you think we offended the most? Scale of one to probably, ten. Probably I'm going to say the French. I'm going to say the French. <laughs> yeah, we're like we're we're okay with your country getting nuked. I Just, think oh. we're on a ten on the French people, but that's. I don't. Just, I have no problem with that. Just I have so no we problem can get... with offending French people. Just so we can have Saint Petersburg <laughs> sharks. <laughs> Quit. Wait. I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna quickly look up the KHL team that would be coming back. KHL worst team. Wouldn't it have to be the best team. Best uh, team. Because they're getting promoted. Oh, yeah, KHL's best team. Okay, wait. KHL standings. There we go, 23-24. We got Continental Hockey League standings. <laughs> oh, my God. You're not going to fucking believe this. Is it St. Petersburg? It was St. Petersburg. <laughs> Saint oh, wait, they didn't win the Sharks. cup. And they they were oh sorry, they were the best in their division. Okay, so they have the Bovrov, Chernyshev, Sharlamov, and Tarasov. Those are those those are their um divisions. Uh, Yaroslav Lokomotiv lost in the finals. Oh my Locomotive? god! Locomotive. <laughs> Locomotive, yeah, that's uh the team that their plane crashed and they all died a bunch of years ago. Oh, guess here. This is the hardest name to ever say. So this is the team that won the KHL title last year, or this year, whatever, like a couple months ago. Magnitogorsk, Magnitogorsk, Magnitogorsk Metalurg. So we're gonna have San Jose Metalurg, and then nice. we're gonna have the Magnitogorsk Sharks. I like St. Petersburg Sharks more, personally. St. Pre- I I'd say yeah. we just go, just promote them anyway, just because they're St. Petersburg. Yeah. It just goes better. Did you want to hear the dumbest thing ever? You know how in the CHL there was two Rough Riders for a while? So in the KHL, in the same division, there's two teams named Dynamo. There's the Moscow Dynamo and Minsk Dynamo. That's so I mean, dumb. Wouldn't it be Dynamo? Dynamo. Dynamo? Sure. You, Actually, that's the same word. All right. Enunciation. We're going to Google pronounce. Google pronounce. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Dynamo. Dynamo. He's a Dynamo. He's a Dynamo. Dynamo. Okay. How to pronounce dynamo. <laughs> you just said it you just said it the right way. Oh, you're right. Fuck. 
Dynamo. I kind of like Dynamo more, Wait, to be honest. Don't we say someone's dynamic? You say dynamic? Yeah. yeah wouldn't we be like, wow, that person has a dynamic character? <laughs> because he's a... We say... We I say, think it's different. We say Dynamo, and we say Dynamatic. Or we say Dynamite. Dynamatic. Oh, yeah. I think Dynamo is more of just like... It's... I'm not sure if it's Dynamo. <laughs> Dynamatic? No, I don't know. It's pronounced more word. like dynamite. Dynamo. 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 What did I say first? I was wrong. It's dynamo, right? I already forgot. It's no, you said 10 seconds. dynamo. Dynamo. Oh, I said dynamo. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Maybe. It's Moscow Dynamo and Minsk Dynamo. <laughs> maybe that's how they tell I like, them Maybe apart. they're two different pronunciations. <laughs> and they're like, we're nothing the same. They are Dynamo. We are Dynamo. Mm -hmm. How dare you confuse us? They are dynamic. We're dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dynamic. I just had a total brain fart where I couldn't remember that word like five seconds ago. Maybe I have Parkinson's. You may have early onset uh, Parkinson's Alzheimer's disease. Yeah. I don't think you... Is it? Is it the same? No. Pretty different? It's different, but they're both brain diseases. I definitely feel like I have Alzheimer's. Isn't, Parkin isn't Parkinson's the one where they shake? Yeah. Okay, that's like what Michael J. Fox has. That Wait, Parkinson's? am I thinking of the right one? Does Biden not have Parkinson's? What's another old man disease? There's Parkinson's, Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. And What's dementia. the other one? There's dementia. Parkinson's. Both are dementia, aren't they? But I think that they were saying Parkinson's. Yeah, because you're right. Were. Michael Jackson does have Parkinson's. Michael uh, Jackson? Michael... <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson's dead, <laughs> motherfucker. I mean, he's got some serious Parkinson's now. Yeah. I feel like Parkinson's feels wrong. No. It's Parkinson's. They were saying he ha he might have Parkinson's. Oh, top neurologist because says he definitely has his, Parkinson's. Because of his stutter. Like the yeah. way he's stuttering and moving. Yeah, like I said, when yeah. he walks all stiff and shit. But, but yeah, I don't know, Michael. I, if Michael J. Fox can, he pretty much does a lot of stuff. He has Parkinson's. I don't know. Yeah, maybe they have. I think they're more worried about his cognitive abilities. Yeah. Like they're saying that he has like, they they were worried that that's what the uh, whatever the person going there. I don't know what they're called studying who's supposed to test him for that for parkinson's or stuff like that but yeah because yeah they said that he goes there once a year to test yeah he has like a he anyway. has a physical a physical well, because he had two fucking brain surgeries way back they fucking cut off the top of his head he's got like a flip top head old biden flip top head because he had a brain aneurysm then they fucking had to crack his head like an egg and go in there. Wait, where was it? Yeah, he died of nearly died of a brain aneurysm. Really? And, yeah. Um get the fuck out of here. Oh, do I have to count create an account? Oh fuck. Really hurting the fucking Google while I'm podcasting there, internet. Yeah, anyways, <laughs> he's had two brain surgeries and one of them. I think it was like 30 years ago, like a while ago. But it's just wild to say. Well, well, it's doubtful he's going to be. Unfortunately, we have to see tr another four years of Trump. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, you know what? Or, Honestly, uh, it, it was one of the worst four years we've had ever. Was it? Trump was president. I, I do. Well, just watch every day. Every day, I feel like, like I feel like the last four day. years with Biden were way fucking worse. But that was all COVID and the fucking recession and inflation. Yeah. Oh, I mean, like the 
the shit that happened while Biden was president was worse. Oh, you mean just hearing fucking about annoying Trump? Like, oh, hey, what did Trump, Trump do today? Nonstop. Yeah, the Trump news, right? Oh, yeah. This, the, just, yeah, because this, this podcast used to be the podcast where we promise we're not going to talk about Trump. Hey, let's talk about Trump. <laughs> that used to be our motto. Pro- <laughs> yeah, we were like, we promise we're not going to talk about Trump, but let's talk about Trump. How could you not? Was, I mean, it's called Outrage Factory. And then, like, who is actually causing the most outrage, really, in the world right now? Fucking libs, Matt. All by himself. Think of how much outrage we would have been saved if Libs could shoot a gun straight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's probably true. Yeah. I mean, can't even argue with that. Dude, this is so fucking bonkers still. It was so like, not think a Lib about who it? did it. There's no way it was a Lib that did it. Dude, it had to be. There's no, no way. way it wasn't. There's no way it's an inside job. Like, I'm a conspiracy guy. I'm fucking false flag every day. Yes, it was probably no. I don't this necessarily one, think it was an inside too, job. It's too good of a shot to miss by that close. To like graze his cheek and go through his ear. I think and that it we're not gonna find out the guy was ex-military. Oh, well, he's dead now. Well, we'll probably find out about him. Unless that wasn't him. Well. And that's Matt, the other thing is every there's lone left, shooter, there's, there's every lone shooter the, who has ever tried to kill a president has been killed. Hey, they, remember no yeah, it's true. questioning them. There's no way to find out. Remember when all the lone shooters would have a copy of Catcher in the Rye found in their possession? Like in their personal Whatever happened to that? Why don't fucking lone gunmen read Catcher in the Rye anymore? It's so uh, it's just is that not now. an activation book anymore? <laughs> Did MK Ultra change their activation novel? <laughs> it's dude. incels now. Incels now are long dude. shooters. Dude. Different. Okay. This will be our last hypothetical because we've been an hour and a half and Andrea will murder me if I keep going too long. So okay. we're in charge of MK Ultra. We're making fucking mentoring candidates where people get like triggered when they read a certain book what is the funniest book you can make that would trigger someone because you that would that's what they said about catcher in the rye was people would be like brainwashed and conditioned and then when they read catcher in the rye it would trigger them so basically it's like you fucking it's a handbook for serial killers that's what it's known as a handbook yeah. for serial killers so what would be the funniest book that you could get someone and you would just be like, you, I don't know how, like the thing with the catcher in the rise, I don't know how you get a lone gum and be like, Hey, read this book. And then they read it and then they get activated like, like born. So which book would you make the trigger book? Trigger if book you were in charge. Now? It doesn't have uh, to be a funny one. It could just be one you like. The secret. The, one you like. the secret. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna say 50 shades of gray i pictured it happening and it happened and then i just killed everyone and i wanted money so i such pictured a good it, one i pictured having money so i killed everyone i robbed them and i had money done the power of manifestation turned me into a <laughs> psycho killer <laughs> I was going to be... say, I was going to say the Fifty Shades of Grey so that if they found it, they're like, not only did this guy kill the president, but he was a fucking loser and read terrible books. Hey, maybe Harry Potter will be the new trigger book. You never know. <laughs> yeah, every fucking murder is just some kid with Asperger's who wished he <laughs> went to fucking wizard school. <laughs> I never went to wizard school, so I murdered the president. The Potters. They call them the Potters. Dude, what if the fucking guy who killed, who, tr- who just shot Trump was some fucking hotter head? What, what do they call Harry Potter fans? Potter heads? I don't, I have Pot no fans? idea. Potheads? Harry Potter Potterheads. Potterheads. Let's go with Potterheads. Potterheads. That's, a, that's right. a good pun. Staying with the whole thing. What if they were so mad? 
that fucking the chick. What's the chick who wrote it? Why can't I remember her name? J.K. Rowling. Yeah, they're so bad that J.K. Rowling is a transphobe that they're like, "I'm gonna shoot the president." That's how mad I am. <laughs> I see. That's what doesn't. I mean, that's what doesn't lead me to being a liberal because liberals, first of all, in this United States, are so pro gun control that it doesn't make sense to me that one would even go buy a gun. Not all liberals are pro gun control. I've ne- have we ever seen any mass killings in the United States that was some liberal who went on, you know, just lost his mind and started killing a whole bunch of conservative people. I feel like have we ever seen not that? usually politically motivated. Like they're like I I know what you mean, and I feel like they're never like this Republican guy shot a bunch of people. They just assume he's Republican because he had a gun. So like take uh, the Rittenhouse incident. You know, yeah. he went over to the riots, he shot some people. Now he, we know- those were all self defense. Uh, we're gonna end our friendship we might end our friendship (laughs) it just doesn't happen very often yeah the written house thing's a bad weird bad example it's a bad example it wasn't a a weird thing to happen a liberal an extreme left wing Mm. guy i mean you're probably right it was probably a right wing guy who hated trump I think it was. I think that it might have just been a right winger who just thought Trump mm-hmm. was destroying democracy. I mean, there's lots of right wingers who believe that. Yeah. Trump it would be so it, funny it is, if it was a hippie, is, though. If it was just like some fucking really super like libtard. Real, it's not like, like a real uh, Republican. He's remember, Trump. remember that girl who was super liberal. And the first time Trump got like elected, there was the viral video of her just screaming. Yeah. I hope it was her. <laughs> I want it to be her. <laughs> I mean, who knows? I don't I don't think we're ever gonna find out the motivation. I already told you the motivation. Trump's personality. Well, we know <laughs> there's the unspoken motivation that we yeah. all know. Trump is literally the one guy who doesn't need an ulterior motive. The motive is know it's Trump. If he, if he missed Trump the first time, I want to know, like, he shot eight other times. Yeah. And why were there eight other, like, there's not that many assassination attempts where, like, okay, well, I missed the president. Now I'm going to, I'll just kill some other people. It's oh, did more he? Like, I thought he shot all four at Trump, or did. I don't know. Miss- I don't know. I didn't, I haven't really heard, like, maybe there's new news now, but I haven't really heard, like, where the other shots were actually, like, aimed for. I've only known that one was aimed for Trump, and there's a whole bunch of shots all at once. But, like, Mm -hmm. if you watch the footage, like, there's people directly behind Trump, and, like, that bullet whizzed by his face, hit his ear, and you can't see anyone who got hit behind him. I don't know where the other person uh, was shot. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna need to see like a diagram. I think we need a follow up podcast to this podcast. Yeah. All right, we'll do it. But we, well, I, we I gotta have go. More information. Okay. I gotta go. I gotta go vape my face off. That's the real reason okay. I'm leaving. Cause I'm nicking out. Nice. Uh, but yeah, no. Thanks for coming back to the yeah back episode of Outrage Factory, Outrage Factory Revival. Um. Oh yeah, I guess I. I think Derek just doesn't want to do it anymore. He got too busy. He just said it's your. I don't know. But maybe he'll come back after he saw how hilarious we were and how many puns we crammed in. He'll be like, he'll get FOMO and he'll be like, I we had like three puns. He'll be like, take me back. We had more than that. We had I don't so know many, how many puns. puns we had puns of fun on this show. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, I really, I really wanted to call it Outrage Factory Revival, but I also really want to call this episode Puns of Fun. I'm getting the look. We're leaving. You do want people to watch this. All right. All right. right. I just got, I just got the, 
fucking shut it down like, and you're dead. Get the fuck yeah. off there. All right. I just, I just got the, the look like you're a cuck now. That was the look I got. <laughs> <laughs> like he was so angry, he just turned me into a cuck against my oh. will. I didn't I don't even find it sexy. I'm just done now. All right. So All right. you okay? So since Derek's not here, we have to do the last part where you say "until next time." Okay, that's all I say. Yeah. All right. Until next time, stay angry. over the top.